Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another one of my videos. In this video, I'm going to be going through some synthetic benchmarks as well as some real world photo and video editing examples of Microsoft's new Surface Pro 4. Now there's multiple examples plastered all over the internet, be they videos or articles, all to do with the Microsoft Surface Pro 4's performance. However, the difference with this video is I'm going to be going through all of those benchmarks, all of those different tests with the top of the range i7 version. Whereas the vast majority of all of these different videos and articles online are all about the more readily available i5 version, which has been around now for about a month. However, this newly released top of the range i7 version, you can find some articles online, maybe even some videos benchmarking the differences between it and the i5 version. However, there's nothing really out there for photographers and videographers in terms of real world use. So that's where I come in. Now, as mentioned before, this is the top of the range version available here in the UK. It's got an Intel i7-6650U processor, 16 gigabytes worth of DDR3 RAM and 512 gigabytes of PCIe based flash storage. Flash storage. Flash. Flash storage. So we all know synthetic benchmarks don't really reflect real world performance. However, they're the only tests I can run for you guys today where you can immediately take those results and compare them to any other device of your choice. So the real world photo and video editing examples I'll be doing today for you guys is a variable that's unique to me as the particular files, the photos and the video files that I'll be using are all unique to me in this particular test setting. So in this situation, I'm going to provide you with a point of reference and I'm going to be not comparing, but I'm going to be doing the same tests, the same real world tests on the Surface Pro 4 on my editing desktop PC. Now I stress again, this is no way me comparing the two together. It's just a way for you guys to have some sort of reference point when it comes to these unique examples that I'll be using. The reference point being a high end video editing rig. So hopefully these real world video and editing examples will give you guys a better example as to what to expect from something that's really ultra mobile. The specifications for the PC I'll be using for reference, you can see up here in the top right hand corner. And the performance that it churns out in synthetic benchmarks is anything between two to four times the performance of the Surface Pro 4. So now with all that out of the way, let's start off with some synthetic benchmarks. So now with all that boring stuff out of the way, let's go through my personal favourite and run through some real world photo and video editing tests. The first test I'll be doing is exporting three images from Lightroom into a HDR merge in Photoshop. The HDR is made up of three 20 to 22 megabyte raw files. To create the HDR preview, the Pro 4 took about 8 seconds and my desktop PC actually did it in 12. To actually create and merge the HDR and export it back into Lightroom from Photoshop, the Pro 4 took 10 seconds and my desktop PC took longer again at 19. Moving on to Lightroom exporting, I have 8 again 22-ish megabyte raw files and 2 70 to 80 megabyte HDRs, all with simple adjustments made done reflecting those on my desktop. The Pro 4 exported them all in 39 seconds and my desktop did this in a time of 24 seconds. All of the images were exported at 100% quality in JPEG format. With After Effects, I tested how long it would take to perform a camera track of a 10 second clip with 300 frames, then exporting that footage once a single line of floating text had been added. The Pro 4 tracked and solved the clip in a time of 1 minute and 12 seconds, with my desktop doing this in 46 seconds. Exporting the whole 28 second clip took the Pro 4 52 seconds and the desktop PC took 38 seconds. 
Lastly, in Premiere Pro, I imported the sequence of my Low Pro Photo Hatchback 22L review found on my channel. It's a 3 minute 55 second video recorded at 1080p. I exported it at 1080p, max rendering quality at max depth. VBR2 pass was on with a target bitrate of 36 megabits per second and a maximum bitrate of 40 megabits per second. This produced a file size of 980 megabytes. The time taken to export this file on the Pro 4 was 21 minutes and 9 seconds with my video editing rig doing this in 8 minutes and 44 seconds. So there you have it, all in all a really impressive little powerhouse and for my personal use when I'm away on video and editing shoots it's more than enough for me to throw together some simple editing on the fly. If you want to know anything else about the Surface Pro 4's performance you can drop me a question in the comment section below, alternatively you can find me on Facebook, link will be in the video description. And if you appreciate the crazy amount of time it took for me to do all of these benchmarks and compile this video together for you, be sure to show me some love and give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you want to see more content like this from me in the future. So don't forget, other than Facebook, you can find me on Flickr and Instagram. Links again will be in the video description. Thank you guys for sticking around for so long and I'll see you in the next one.